Is it on me and Tanwin? No, niggas. Tanwin and uh, White Fun. Uh, uh Tanwin. Mm -hmm. Are you fine with RCT over Toji? Why? He be he literally beat him, and he like outspeeds him badly. I think. That's um. Why is that a full power Toji? You see, why is he full power? There's really no reason to assume he's fatigue. What's the topic? Uh, What's the topic? What's the topic? Hmm? I'll give you What's an assumption. What's the topic? Um, it's Toji versus Ghetto. What do you have? I have Toji. Okay. Yeah. You said you can give me an assumption. You can give me an assumption, but I'm saying there's no reason to assume it. Okay, and I'll I give you a reason as to why it's not an assumption then. After that. Um, I think it's because, um... I think we have reasonable cause to believe it because he says he deviated from himself. Okay, so yeah, and why does like, that mean he's not at full power? We see a consistency within JJK that the mindset is a contingency of strength within the series. Show me that. Sure. Uh. It's dead obvious. It's just like the whole thing with Maki. Is the whole like, oh, mindset dictates like this kind of shit, this shit, this shit, that shit. Like the whole Maki Naya fight during coming game, that's all that fight supposed to represent. Iniciando gravação em 3, 2, 1. Very cool. So I think that's just that <clears throat> Maki's mind was so like clouded that she couldn't really do the things that Toji did. Now that she's able to focus, she's able to do that. I don't think there's anything to, to show that now Toji. Because I don't think there's anything to show that Goji should be weakened in the sense not focused enough to be able to do that, even though he's that's been not, doing it for years. That's not um, what the whole thing is. It's not him. It's not her, like, not being focused. It's just her lacking the mentality that Toji has, right? It's the whole, like, the idea behind freedom, right? Where it's, like, the more free someone is, the stronger they are. Look, uh, I'll send you the screen. I'll send you the panel that I'm fine. Look, the Maki lady says the whole like after Samurai gives her painting, he goes the thing he's talking about is freedom, right? Toji loses that sense of freedom when he's finding Gojo because instead of making a decision based off what he thinks is rational, he makes a decision based on his pride. The same thing that he says caused his loss, his death, the pride. What scan are you talking about? Another scan where it says he deviated from his true self and yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, next scan. That's the whole freedom thing. It kind of tributes like Maki's growth it's dependent on the freedom. And then after the Toji Sim, I'll send that here. Oh. oh. Now that I, see, I never read the five, but now that I see these panels, I think it's something completely different. My fault. I think it's that Mayo just taught her how to do it. Wait, wait, one sec. Let me send it. Here, uh, what's your reputation? Um, I think it's just that big sumo wrestler dude just teaching me now that I read the panel. I never read the fight. It's just how I interpreted what it was based on the statements I heard. Okay, and what, yeah, that's what the sumo, the sumo wrestler helps her. We like. Her before the sumo wrestler fight, she's losing Naya. Afterwards, she finally finds her true self, and she explains what the sumo wrestler is trying to teach her as freedom. The freedom's attribute that she requires in order to become a true self. The same attribute that Toji doesn't have in this fight with Gojo. Oh my god. Okay, cool. So I think these two are, I'm saying these two instances are distinct. The reason why she can't do it isn't because she isn't her true self, but it is because that she didn't know how to do this ability. And the it's sumo wrestler freedom her. isn't an ability. You know that, right? It's a mindset. Yeah, I know freedom's a mindset. Sure. That doesn't matter. She can be discovering her character and she learns this ability. You what? She can discover her character and learn this ability. It doesn't mean that these two things are tied together. Okay. Okay, okay can you do, can you show me um, what curse technique freedom is? Curse technique freedom? Yeah, like what's that curse technique? Maki doesn't have a curse technique. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so you keep saying... Ability. You keep describing freedom as an ability. What ability is this? No, not freedom. Talk about the precog stuff. The pre well, yeah. How is he getting this ability? Because the sumo wrestler taught it there. Oh my! Can you show me that? 
He literally says in the pen, they got to analyze your opponent. Go. I'll read it for bit. Okay. 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 I think we have different definitions of ability. If you mean ability as her using attributes she already has in order to perform something more impressive or perform something on a more, much more skilled level, in that sense, I can agree with that she's learning a new ability, but that's also contention on her adding something to her arsenal that lets her gain that, right? But if you mean ability in the sense that she just like trigger unlocks something, I need you to show me how she unlocked this thing because the most rational explanation is her mindset being clear, which is why she can unlock this ability. If Toji's mindset isn't clear, which I'm not, I'm using this as a piece of evidence. I'm not saying Maki Toji, they're cool in this exact regard. What I'm saying is in JJK, this consistent idea that freedom or a clearer mindset leads to a greater strength or greater um, likelihood for success. We see this with Megumi versus Finger Bearer. Okay, we can get into the Mega Man because I have to borrow a bunch okay. of points. But for the first one, I'm pretty sure you said that, um, yeah, what I meant by it is that it allows her to, like, analyze her opponent in a different way where she can, like, sense the vibrations in the air and she's more focused. That's what I mean by unlocking a new ability. I don't know what you, I forgot what you said after that, but. Well, yeah, I don't but you understand, you understand the reason he doesn't have this focus is because he doesn't have a clear mind, right? Not necessarily. Oh, has, but it could be the case. Same moment. She's feeling uneasy. He doesn't have a clear mind right now. She cannot have a clear mind and not have this ability. Those doesn't mean that those, that's the reason why. Okay, she you keep. Have, I, I explain how it's a. Like, I can break it down into a syllogism, but it's a, like clear one to one connection. There's a link to this whole thing. You keep trying to like cut the connection and then saying, here's one thing, here's another thing. They're not related. And instead of telling me how they're not related, you're saying, oh, um, they're just not related. You're not Whereas telling me how they're connected. I just presuppose that they are. I don't see any evidence okay. as to why they are. Okay. Unless you can I'm explain to me how you they're it. connected. I'm telling you that they're connected in the sense that she doesn't learn. Because again, you yourself have mentioned it's contention on focus, and I've told you. She hasn't learned anything new unless you can show me that. Besides her clearing her mind, I'm using what's been presented to us via panel, right? Now, if you want to say, oh, there could be an external reason as to why, like, oh, she could like, gain freedom and also like unlock this in a different way, right? I, you can show me why, but I'm saying there's a direct sequence of panels that imply one thing. So I'm using contextual evidence in order to lead to my conclusion. You're the okay. Yeah, we can move on. I'm going to my phone. Okay, um, I'm not done with this whole thing. I'll, I'll give you the mechanism, okay? Mm. Okay. Like Megumi goes, oh, I don't care anymore. And then we see him pop them in. Okay. He says, it's okay to be selfish. And then he goes, this is the end for me. And it, then he just pulls up to me. Okay. I think okay. in that instance, it's contextualized to the fact that instead of just summoning Maharago and he's about to lose, he actually, I mean, lose, he actually pushes himself to fight harder, which in the heat of, I mean, the stress of battle makes him unlock a new ability, which is domain. Okay, 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 okay. What, rest, what was restricting him? He was scared, right? We see no, that what was restricting him was that he'd summon Maharag every time and try to like- Yes, 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 yes. because he wrong. feels like he has the inability to do this thing. Then he goes, never mind, I'll do it anyway, which is him bypassing their mental restriction. He's a place upon himself. Tom, if, say for example, every time I'm gonna cook something. I asked my mom to cut something for me, but instead of asking my mom to cut something for me, I do it myself. I never knew I was able to do this until I pushed myself to actually do it. That's just an example of what I'm saying. Yes, yes, but that's what I'm saying. Let's say, with that example, let's say the reason I don't do it is because I'm lazy. That's a mental restriction I've placed upon myself. Let's say I'm not doing this, I've never done it before. That's a mental restriction. Restriction by definition is the, like the stoppage of something from the way it would conventionally happen, right? You're trying to stop yourself, from doing this thing. Same with Megumi. So yes, he's mentally restricting himself, which I get is so consistent with everything we've seen in the series regarding like how cl clarity in someone's mind leads to greater curse energy. So that's the basic of curse energy. Mental clarity. Uh, that's what Black Flash happens. That, but also, just because there's mental... Wait, I can prove that. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just say I can't prove that? It's Black Flash. That's the next example. <laughs> what? Of having Black a clear mind and better curse energy? When you're 100% focused. It says Black Flash. I never heard that statement. I'm not going to lie. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
I do not remember early JJK. Does anyone, um, does anyone just VC, has anyone just VC, like, read JJK totally? Because, I'll look for Diamond Sandsman. What's up, huh? I read all 236 chapters of JJK. Um, I didn't ask. Was, um, all I'm looking for was, um, what's it called? There's a description of what Black, like, you know how, like, Black Flash, in order to do it, it doesn't, like, happen at will. You just need to have, like, a 100% focus. But see, like, when you do this focusing on him, I just don't know about the 100% focus part. Yeah, I've never yeah. seen that. Like, Yuji was about to use it against Hanami, and he can't because he pictures Mahito. And then one, when he, like, completely lets go of all of these emotions, he hits Black Flash. Oh, you trying to use that as a instance, or are you trying to grab Scanster? Um, I was using that instance, unless you don't remember. Oh, okay. like so, just because he, okay. just because he. Dude, this is like the greatest like denial of preponderance, bro. Like, my friend, why are you doing this? Not denial of preponderance. We know Yuji. <clears throat> he just could it. He doesn't know how to flow Chris energy properly, so he has to put more focus into flowing it. I don't see a problem why, with that. Why is that the thing that's hindering him? You said, why is that the thing that's hindering him? Yeah, why is the lack of, like... Because obviously he is not the most skilled with his energy flow. But why is that the reason he can't, you know? Why is that the reason he can't flow his energy? Or, like, why is that the reason he can't hit the Black Flash? Without 100% focus. Hello? Yeah, my fault. I got a call and it cut out my audio. What'd you say? Yeah, I said, I said, why is that the reason? Which is, like, beyond arbitrary. Why is that the reason that he's unable to do this thing instead of, you know, that being the prerequisite or that being the requirement? What like, the requirement is? Yeah. That's such a crazy okay, assumption. So you said, why is it um, the first energy, he's not being to focus more on the first energy flow? Do you know how Black Flash works? Um, you have to, it's like when you apply first energy in like zero 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 point one percent something of um, seconds of before or after. Nigga, what does it do with the prerequisite for like flowing? Because energy? if he flo if he's not flowing it properly, he can't do that to land a black flash. Okay, so obviously why if he has to focus flow? up and actually do it, then he can hit why the black flash. Why is it flash. so bad enough to the point that it's the reason why the the black flash is being hindered? You still haven't answered that question. Oh, I'm just saying, you're kidding me. I'm just saying that I interpret this as not just a mindset that makes you magically stronger. Think negative emotions is the only mindset that can make you like stronger. Well, not mindset; it's more of just emotion. Huh? Oh my God. I said, there, I'm just giving an alternate way to interpret it instead of the way you are. Okay, and, okay. Um, I'm just saying okay. that. You yeah, go ahead. Okay, I'll give you. I'll give you my reason. Then, if you want to just play cool interpretation, I'll just give you a scan. Um, Toto, right after you go. Oh, Kurt, like you're too angry. Your anger is hindering you. Yeah, because he can't flow Chris energy properly. Nigga, it's because he's mad. He, he, yeah, he's, if you have a lot of cursed energy and I can't flow it properly, like, what the hell? Obviously, you just ignored gonna, what I said. I can't control that much cursed you energy. Know? Like, say, for example, we see this in, like, Naruto, for example. When Karama puts too much chakra in Naruto, he's like, can't control it well. That's why he has bad chakra control. All right, we can move on. You blatantly ignored what I said. Okay, then what'd you say? Uh-huh. You said the anger is hindering him. He couldn't control uh, it because he's anger. Yeah. Um. It's still necessary. Um. I got. This isn't super. Okay, I'm, really, I'm cool. already. Um. Yeah. We can move on, bro. Okay. Um. Mm, uh, um. I don't care for anything else, bro. Um. Besides this, I don't think Toji skills to um Arthur mm. Gojo in any shape or form. The, the volume extra it says he's good to Gojo. Okay. Fall on par with Gojo. Like RCT. But okay. Do you agree with that or disagree? I said they would at least be relative, even if you don't think the last point went through. They would be relative? Why? <laughs> because the back of the volume statement. What does it say? Once fought on par with Gojo. Oh, you're just going to say that was a weekend, Toji, huh? No. Well, well, yeah, I would say it was a weekend, Toji, but I, there's also like other interpretation of that statement. I would have said... um. It's it's talking about the first fight. Okay, yeah, disagree with that. So um, but it doesn't my, matter. I think the, 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 the thing you said makes more sense. The thing you said makes more sense. Hmm. 
Um, the thing I like you thought I was gonna say makes more sense anyway. Mm-hmm. So, um, <laughs> my skill would be based on the first point. You agree that, um, like, what was I going to say? Ghetto should be stronger than RCT Gojo or even Gojo that's what? a year after he fought Toji because he thinks he has a chance against Gojo, who he thinks is stronger than Toji because he beat him. Or he should think he's stronger than Toji. We even see after he says Gojo became the strongest. Like, he thinks Gojo he thinks just... Can beat him? He thinks he has a chance to beat Gojo and everyone else. What? Hmm? Yeah, why? Show me that. Okay, sure. Are, like, doesn't he say he has a much lower percent of chance unless he gets Rika? Yeah, he says he has like a 30% chance. I'm saying he has a chance in the first place to show some sort of relativity. Are you think a 30% chance in some shape or form implies relativity? Yeah, because he has yeah, the... Yeah, Ghetto with his entire group. Gojo. Yeah, Ghetto with his entire group plus all his curses could have a chance. His entire Gojo. group is fodder. Like, they get beat up by the... Miguel, Nami Miguel Nami. neutralized Infinity, which is the biggest problem. No, because really? He did yeah. all of that just to get beat up. Like, they're fodder. They was no, 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 that's not, that's not, that's running through all of them. Wait, wait. I, that's fine if you think that. I don't think there's any way to prove Miguel is fodder, but the fact that he has the ability that gets past Gojo's selling point, I think that should be good enough reason as to why um, it shouldn't just became a consideration. <laughs> him getting past, why does it matter if he gets past? He's literally he called the MVP. Oh, like, Miguel's called the MVP of that night. Okay. Okay, you know what MVP and Why does it matter if he doesn't scale to Gojo at all? Okay, like, he if gets all of them jump Gojo. him, our nigga has to like open the gateway so that everyone else can attack him. That would have to be Miguel. With the whole Jujutsu society all pounding them, like come on, pause. Yes, all of all of these, all of these things, bro. I'm just, that's what I'm, I'm saying. You have no way to draw a relative like implication from this. I can just say it's all of them jumping him at the same time, like sneak attacking him, Miguel opening him, them niggas like I don't know, like spamming him with Maxim Uzumaki. It's just such an assumption game at this point. I can just say anything. Like you can assume something, assume something else. Equal interpretation. So um, I think I defeated those other interpretations. You saying that them all jumping him? Okay. I think it's very unlikely that Gero thinks that his family can. Did he? Know- Think they hold a candle to go, Joe, or you shouldn't think they hold a candle to the rest of Jesus. Yeah, can you show me that? Mm-hmm. Okay, sure. He... That's it? Yeah, it's at the end of volume here. He tells Gojo to take care of them. Nigga, why does that mean that they don't um hold a candle? Yeah. Hold on, let me show you. Like, he just implied the strongest sources. No, oh, I <laughs> might be too cold. And he kind of expected everyone to lose. Hold on. I don't even need to grab that pen. I'll grab the ones where he expected everyone to lose. Yo, Trixie, are you recording? No, Nick. No. There's a pot. There's like three different rec bots, bro. All right. Why is that? I'm no ego shit. What's but, the debate? Like, what well, not on some ego shit, but the, uh, have you still not been convinced? Convinced of what? That, you know, like, Toji doesn't scale, like, like that Dojo get, Toji fight doesn't prove anything, and this scan isn't, like, useful. I think that Toji go just get, I mean, <laughs> Gojo battle does prove something. The RCT's way above. Huh? I think it proves RCT's way above. I don't know, man. And I'm just saying, because, like, you, like, let's say hypothetically you are a bit of beta. I just think, like, there's no way you haven't been convinced just in general. But, it's fine. In general, I still think. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, from That nigga vibes is odd. But these, like, from my interactions with him. He's like a very emotional, like, kid. Okay, so I don't need to grab, let's probably grab another pen. Basically, you know when Ghetto just goes to get um, Rika because he expects to lose the war, so he wants to get Rika, then win the war. 
I think that's what he's talking about. Huh? He's willing to sacrifice his family to get Rika and then win the war. When does he say this? <laughs> so when does he say this? It's implied by the fact that he just goes after them and then when everyone loses, he's not surprised. That when Gojo comes to visit him after everyone lost. Well, well, obvious. I don't think they. He thinks like they can single-handedly like beat Gojo, because it was like a lot of niggas, right? It wasn't just. Oh, it's a bro, just all of them. He thinks his whole family plus two thousand curses can't beat like win the war. Or has a wait, chance to win the war. But then that's what I'm saying. Though I'm saying, um, he didn't think he was gonna lose to Utah. Okay. Yeah, but I'm still saying this implies that he thinks that all of them will lose, but him with Rika has a chance. Okay, or just he, he has a chance. Okay, but oh my god. Okay. That's contention on him getting Rika. He thinks him with Rika stands a better chance than Miguel in a 1v1 with Gojo. So <laughs> other people don't fight Gojo. Okay. Okay. What does that prove? Okay, cool. Um, you want to go into my other scan because I have more substantiation for this interpretation that Ghetto alone should be the one that could handle Gojo and the rest of everyone else. Why didn't he just do it then? To be honest, I don't even know. I would just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the argument, you know, my argument is just that Rika's implied to be above Volume Zero Gojo because, um, yeah, why? Okay, I'll get the scans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro, bro, if it's a disposed scan, that's not what it means. Hmm? If it's a disposed scan, that's not what it means. If I send what full scan? Is if it's a disposed scan where he goes like, oh, we'd be disposed of, that's not what the statement implies. It does imply that they would die. Mm -hmm. but... Bro, 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 when it says disposed, it just means they get fired by due to society. That's all it means. No, they literally, ah, go get to the end of the chapter. They threaten to kill Yuta if he let Tarika out again. Yeah, if he lets Rika out, they're obviously yeah. talking about killing Yuta, not bro, just, not just firing them. Bro, 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 Yuta High, they warn him the same chapter saying that um, Rika better not be a problem again. He's like, nah, nigga, you got it. And then if Rika's a problem again, he's gonna get disposed of. Dude, they Yuta High want to dispose of Gojo. That's why the second he gets sealed, they put a death penalty on him. Mm. I'm, not, I'm trying to go find the chapter right now. Bro, it's such a crazy <laughs> thing. Like, where is this? I'm gonna just go to my scan, so I don't feel like grabbing this. But, what are you Why are doing this? My cousin was playing Fortnite with me. Can we just wrap this debate up? Wait. Right. I think we've said, talked about it. Enough. You know my scaling, right? More or less? No. Oh, <laughs> I'm not just joking. My scaling's pretty long. Um, it's um, I have Toji, two fifteen finger, fifteen finger. Um, what's it called? Oh, what is this? I have fifteen finger yeah. above Ryu, and then I have Ryu um two Utah and Utah above Geta. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna go in the deep I have to go ahead and play for an actual game. That's it. Yeah, we can just leave it off here. There's not all really right. enough. It kind of is all.